my name is Miss Betty Covington, President of GEMS Girls Expecting More Success. And my name is Cheryl Colbert, Vice President of GEMS Girls Expecting More Success. I started GEM in 2007 out of Digital Harbor High School. I found there was a need to help young ladies. They was involved in gangs. Some of the girls had single family. Some of the girls had parents that were in jail. Some of the girls were actually just getting high and drinking, so I wanted to change that. And we want to make sure that we target girls that have different types of problems, and we want to make sure we teach them about self-esteem. My name is Latasha Schofner. Uh, my daughter Kennedy has been going to gyms for two years, and I've noticed a big change in her. She's much more assertive and confident. My name is Kimberly Scott Butler. I'm the parent of Adriana Butler, who's a member of the GEMS program. My name is Morgan Cobra. I attend Morgan State University. Hello, my name is Tyler Cobra. I attend Digital Arab High School. It's a program to help girls that were having a little trouble. They also wanted to have girls that were doing more positive things to be able to help peer mentoring. GEMS helped me a lot. Um, it had me become more positive, more independent, more hardworking, more dedicated to what I had going for myself. Also, it had me become a role model for younger kids. GEMS has helped me prepare for college, and I look up to them as inspiration leaders because as African American women, I know that they have been through a lot of stuff in their life. Just in the two years that my daughter's been there, I can tell the difference in her, and I definitely see that GEMS is making a big difference in her life. And our mission for GEMS is to make sure that we empower, educate all different types of girls at risk in Baltimore City. But what we're trying to do, we're trying to take this globally. So we need every type of politician, every type of educator, every type of principal, doctors, lawyers, attorneys. It's very important because we're nonprofit. We started this in 2007 and just we have to make a difference. We need people to make an investment into the lives. We need funding for our program. As a kid myself, I never got out of my neighborhood. These girls have never been out their neighborhood, never been out their city. It's, it's hard work, but it's a blessing when you can see the success and the change in these girls and making it to the next grade, actually graduate, going to college. These are the girls at risk girls that people gave up on that I was not going to give up on and I wanted to work hard to make sure they get what they get. That's what makes me do the work every day. 